Uh, hey, mark your calendar, Houston. It's time to party for a purpose. KHOU is joining forces with Hotel Zaza and Blue Cure Foundation to kick off Men's Health Awareness Month. We caught up with one very well known, very respected Houstonian who's joined the Blue Cure movement, which is prostate cancer prevention. Oh, pretty nice, great. pretty nice. That's amazing. We just bonded. There are things that we can be proactive about, and that's what I love about the Blue Cure movement. Carolyn Farb is known as a first lady of philanthropy in Texas. She has a passion for embracing a cause, living it, breathing it, and being a champion of it until others are true believers as well. Farb's latest love, Blue Cure. Whatever we can do to heal ourselves, is, is so is, is is everything and by being proactive being a consumer about something that affects you or someone close to you because it's not just a disease for men it's the brothers the sisters the fathers the the wives uh, the children Farb met Blue Cure founder Gabe Canales years ago and they share something in common he is a prostate cancer survivor she's a breast cancer survivor a connection was born when I see someone that's out there on a mission, actually a crusade, because he was a person that was diagnosed with cancer at 35, and I was a cancer survivor. It always touches my heart. We just bonded. She is a lovely woman. The Blue Cure Benefit Party is this Friday night. Where, Ron? Where? Hotel at Zaza. Hotel Zaza. It's a gorgeous Seven place. PM. It is beautiful. I'll be your MC. Many other KHOU anchors and reporters will be there that night. Uh, DJ Don Vaughn, you know, Cosmo Magazine's Bachelor of the Year finalist, will be spinning. Buy your tickets right now, KHOU.com. It's a great cause. Party great for cause. a cause. Hey. And, what? I'll be, on, <laughs> I'll be on the radio today, 95.7 ESPN Radio, 1230 this afternoon, talking about Blue Cure let's and why it's important to oh, me. Yeah, let's save some lives. It's all let's about prevention. All right. Education begins when men are boys.